Some computers can run fast and others slowly. There are certain factors that will affect the speed of a computer, such as the CPU's clock speed, cache memory, and number of cores. As well as looking at the factors affecting CPU performance, in this video we'll also look at what embedded systems are and how they are used. The clock speed will determine how many instructions per second can be executed. All computers have an internal clock running at a certain speed. Your computer runs at a speed called the number of clock cycles per second. The number of clock cycles is measured in hertz, so one hertz could be one cycle per second. We have seen that program instructions are executed by the fetch decode execute cycle. Each one of the above operations takes time to complete. So a single fetch is one operation, a decode is a second operation, and an execute is a third operation. If we assume each operation takes one cycle per second, and your CPU has a one hertz processor, it would work like this. In the first cycle, fetch the instruction. In the second cycle, decode the instruction. In the third cycle, execute the instruction. So your computer would have taken three cycles to carry out one instruction. And since our processor is one hertz, this means it will take three seconds to complete the instruction. However, if your processor had a clock speed of 10 hertz, it could complete 10 cycles per second, and therefore could complete the three instructions in a third of a second. In actual fact, processors are much faster than this usually in the gigahertz, which would complete 1 billion cycles per second. So you can see that having a faster processor means you can perform more instructions per second, and so this means your computer will be faster. Another factor is the speed that instructions and data can be passed to the CPU. We have seen how programs are stored in main memory in previous lessons. Main memory has an access speed, which will be stated on your RAM chip. The fetch step is usually slow as instructions have to be transmitted across the data bus from RAM to your CPU. You can increase the speed of your RAM, but this would be more expensive and likely never be fast enough to consistently keep your CPU supplied with instructions to process. Another idea is to use cache memory. Cache memory are small areas of memory located on the CPU. It's used to store the most recently or frequently used instructions. As the data is stored on the CPU, it is very fast to access as you are not having to send the data between different components across the data bus. This prevents us from being impacted by a bottleneck caused by the CPU not receiving the instructions fast enough from main memory. Instead, by keeping common instructions in cache which can supply instructions fast enough to the CPU, we can minimize this wasted time and so improve our computer's performance. An additional factor that will affect computer performance is the number of cores. Modern CPUs will often have more than one core. A core is an individual processing unit within the CPU. Each core has its own registers, control unit, and arithmetic logic unit. It will even usually have its own level 1 cache. When we looked at clock speed, we saw how the CPU can perform one operation per cycle, for example, a fetch operation. However, a dual-core processor can handle two operations at the same time. One core can work on one program instruction, and another core can work on another program instruction. We commonly see quad-core processors in modern CPUs, so this means that the CPU can handle four operations at the same time. One downside to multi-core processors is that in order for a program to work with multiple cores, the operating system on the computer must be designed to work with multiple cores, otherwise it won't know how to use them effectively. Unfortunately, even today modern personal computers make very inefficient use of multiple cores and so a dual core processor, while faster than a single core processor of the same clock speed, won't in fact be twice as fast. An embedded system is a computer system that is built into another device. For example, this might be a computer embedded within a washing machine to control its functions. These embedded devices are designed to perform a very specific job all the time and so the instructions have been preloaded onto a memory chip within the computer, usually a ROM chip. Some of the key characteristics of embedded systems include Embedded systems are designed to only perform a single or small number of limited functions. They aren't designed to have new functionality added, though can sometimes be updated. Embedded systems will have memory, 
but this usually will only be a very small amount. It will also have a processor to execute the program instructions, though this will likely have a slow clock speed. This helps make them cheaper for mass production. An embedded system will usually have very low power consumption, often able to run entirely off of battery power. Examples of embedded systems are home appliances like microwaves, in-car sat-navs, cameras, and older televisions. These all have their limited functionality built in and aren't general purpose devices that can have different functionality added. So, a system clock is a measure of how fast a computer operates. It is measured in the number of cycles per second, with one hertz being one cycle per second. Small fast memory on the processor chip is called cache memory. Cache memory holds the most frequently used instructions. This helps reduce bottlenecks. Modern CPUs have multiple cores that can each process instructions. An embedded system is a computer system that is built into another device. They have limited functionality, slow processors, little memory, and low power consumption.